You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for a Beedos video. Now, we have one Beedos video on the channel of the set with the fan and the drying station. This is the starter kit, but I wanted to try this little Beedos pen here, where you store the Beedos up here to make it easier to put them inside your little project. It says select, load, create, no heat, no glue, no mess. There's 400 beads plus four pods in here. Let me flip it around. Let's see, create a world of beados. They're the magic beads that join with a spray of water, a whole new world that you can make one bead at a time. Just choose a template and make up your design. Spray it with water and wow, you've created beados. So let's, uh, well here's everything that comes in the box. So I guess what I need to do next is get it all out of the box. So ages four plus, let's do that next. All right, here we go, all set and out of the box. So I have it kind of organized by colors and amounts. So you get a lot of white, yellow, brown, pink, then less orange, red, even less purple, less black, and then one centerpiece, which you use with the little suction cup. There's two display stands, that's what those are. You get two trays, you get four pods to hold your colors in. And then this is your funnel for pouring in. Let me just give you a quick look at the instructions. Right there, see? You pour into your funnel, into your little pod. And then push and twist onto the bead pod, onto pen. Well, let me just do some of that. Let me move these out of the way right now so we can get set up. I have water in my sprayer. We don't need the suction cup. We'll just need one of these trays so far. I'm gonna move all the colors. I want to put yellow in first because I looked at the templates and I really like the little chick. I think I'm going to do that one. So you put it underneath your tray area here. Oh, there. This matches up with that. See that? It's been a while since I've done this. Okay, now that's matched. Then you flip it over and then you know where to put your beados. And let's bring this here. And then this just, it looks like it just goes right on. But let's see, it screws in maybe? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe it just sets, no? You would think it oh, presses in, so you have to press that in. Let's cut this open. Okay, maybe I'll set up a few colors just to have them ready. This is nice. Now the other set we did didn't have this auto pen. Okay. So that is filled and ready. So let's just set that color there. Let's grab another one. Now I'm going to need some orange. So I'm going to fill an orange, even though it's not a lot. You know, I think maybe the ones with less color you can just do them by hand. You don't have to use this. But you can empty out your little pot, I believe. I'm not sure how easy that is. Come on. One straight. Come on. Work your way out. There you go. Good. Okay. This is easy to do. And then it requires black. I'm not going to use up a whole black. But I'm going to just fill my other ones so they're ready. rip every time. There we go. That was a nice rip. I should pour all in. I thought it would take a little longer to fill them. You know, not fill as nice, but it seems to be you just tap it like that and it works great. One solo. There we go. And then I guess I'll do the brown because there's more brown than the other colors, but not sure what all the templates require brown. Ooh, I was rushing. Okay. Why does it seem like there's always a stray or two? There we go. Let's just do something here. Let's take the yellow. 
Now, looks like this is the release mechanism. It should just go on. I don't see anything special here to say. Okay, and it said, what does it say? It says push and twist. Okay, I just push. Let me try that. Push and twist. I guess it doesn't matter. Shake the pen to fill the beads. Okay, see, now they're launching in there. Place beads one at a time by pushing button. Okay, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Is it going to work for me? Oh, look at that. I left three yellows in. Not cool. Wasn't paying attention. Okay, here we go. Now, does it say straight up and down? Let's see. Now, they show it on an angle. To, uh, to empty this, then you flip this over, and then the colors go down. So now, let me put some more into the, the little chamber here. See this here? Let me see if I can hold it this way, and you can watch it fill up. See, it just filled up. That's nice. Ooh. Went a little off kilter there. How's that? Better? Sometimes I get in my thought mode where I'm thinking and then I'm not paying attention to the camera. I think I want to give my little duck pink eyes. I don't know why. Something says I don't want to do black. I'm going to do that. Ooh. Oh. Refill. This works really good. Easier than the last system. Was I supposed to put white in there? I'm not sure. I'm not looking straight down. I'm looking at an angle, so... Might be easier if I move this around a little. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Hold on a second. Yes, I forgot to put it in the centerpiece. How to fix it. Oh, I didn't even take it out of the bag. Here. Almost fixed. There we go. I wasn't paying attention. I was just kind of like learning the tool. There we go. All back to normal. Ooh, did you see that one hop into place? All right, so it's okay to make mistakes, everybody. It's okay. Nobody's perfect. Just do your best. Okay, so now I have an orange, three, four oranges. Uh, so let me do this now, tap it back, twist and pull. Again, it's a twist and push, okay. So an orange in the middle, orange here. Orange here, orange here. Now black. Remember I said I didn't want to do black? I want pink eyes. Okay. There he is. Now let's spray him. I gotta let this dry a half hour, but maybe I'll come back and do one more with you. Here we go. 
Now it said, use uh, holding water sprayer to spray five to six times so the water evenly covers all beads in your design. Leave to dry for 30 minutes. So here we go. Oh, let's get a pump in here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I'm going to reorganize here, come back, and do another one for you. All right, I am back. I decided to, you know, put the ones that I forgot to put back in. I just wanted to show you that what's happening when you put the funnel on is that it's pushing those two tabs in. So if I wanted to just put a bead back in on its own, you have to really, you have to press it in or use something to push it in. That's what this is doing. Now, I just wanted to see, too, what if you want to change colors, how easy it is to take out the yellow. So let's just say you want to reverse it now. So you can, if you need to use another color and you don't have another pod, it looks like you can just reverse what you did. So now if I wanted to, I can put another color in there. So if you were wondering about that, you sure can. Let me put this back in now. I'm gonna make this what I think, I think it's a gingerbread or a balloon. I don't know what that is, gingerbread guy? I can't tell. But it's brown, so I wanted to use up some of the brown I had. So that's what I'm going to put in now. I didn't tap this out, so I should have done that. So you could push them individually back in. Or just get a little tool. Okay. And then, remember, match up the tab. Okay. My little gingerbread guy. I think that's what it is. What do you think it is? Gingerbread? Well, here we go. I'm not sure, like, what's the best way? Is it the best way to keep turning this? And angling this as you go. Okay, so now I need a black in there. Two browns. Then a black. Then a brown. And then a brown here. And then a few reds. And we did have people ask, can you just put them in with your hand? Yeah, just like that, see? Little tweezers if you need to move things around. I am noticing that if I turn this as I go, it does make it easier to place them. I was being too stationary before, I think. Ooh, I forgot white. Those are white. Hmm. I gotta open up a white. Sorry about that. I'll just put some in with my black. Looks like I need about six white. Ooh. Oh, man. Don't rush. Don't rush. I'm just going to lay it here and then slowly move it in. I mean, you could change them in your tool and go to the white. Or you could just place what you need like I did. Now yellow I have in my container here, my pod, so I'm just gonna quickly switch. And I have like four brown in there, so I'm gonna use up what brown I have. Ooh. my yellow again. Oh, I forgot to do the time with this. Tap it off to the side. I 
Now it looks like the rest are brown and then three more white. I'm just gonna set one, two, three. And then I'll just slowly move them where I want them. You get there. Good job. Remember, you got to move them into the chamber. Sometimes you're just not, you know, you're not paying attention or you're forgetting like I did to push it down. It looks like I'll just have enough. That one didn't want to stay in a spot. Let me get back in here. It's so easy to knock them all out of place. Did, any, did anybody like do a major one and then knock them all out of place? I think I did that in a video where you sneeze because if you sneeze right now you're in trouble well they give you just enough brown to do this guy or girl okay that's two down all right, let me spray this one. Okay, I'll be back in a half hour and take them off and we'll take a look at them. All right, so it has been about a half an hour. Now in this instructions, it tells you to take a template sheet and stick it underneath to get it off of the purple tray area. Look at that. There's my little birdie. Now he gets this little suction cup. I don't know how easy that is to put in. That doesn't look easy to put in. Oh, there we go. Okay, and I'll put on a little stand. There he goes. He'll end up on a window at some point. Now my ginger cookie. Look at that. I'll give you a better shot here in just a second. Oh, and he stands up too. Now I've put everything uh, basically back in the bags, the colors that I did not use, and then the colors that I used, I rebagged. Now the box came with that tray, like a clear tray. So I can actually take these now and put them back in for storage if I want, unless you have a Beto's type case. See, now I can put everything back. Look at that back there. And then the funnel one here. And this one is empty. And this one actually, I think, sat on it. Like that. For storage. Okay, you put that in there. Your water back here. And you are good to go. So I'm done with everything. Let me get a closer shot here. Of my two figures. And they hold together pretty good. Now... I thought it might be good to try to take one apart just so we see how much pressure it takes, but I really don't want to destroy them. Look, you can bend it. Let's see. Yeah, it holds pretty good. You can see there's little glue connecting. Let me see if I can get real close. You can just see how they now connect. Let me leave that there. See the holes through there? Okay. And let me see if I can zoom in just a little. Straight it out as much as possible so you get a nice shot. How's that? There you go. It is the Beto's Starter Pack or Starter Kit. I made two for you. And uh, remember now, take your time. It's okay to put them in the wrong spot. They're going to fall out. Don't rush. And you'll be able to get through it without any problems. And thanks for watching. If you want to see other videos like this, look at the description for a playlist. Or as always, you could search our channel. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave.
What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.